moment you want the truth, as badly as you just now wanted air, you'll find it. We can show you the truth, but you have to want it. Show me. I want to know the truth. Even so, the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. Even so, the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. And ye shall hear wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Thousands of birds found dead in the Yolo Bypass. A CBS 13 viewer sent us these pictures and asked us what is causing this disturbing phenomenon. Easily hundreds of bodies, hundreds of birds, all dead along the side of this flooded field. More than 3,700 American coops, birds that look like ducks, all of them dead. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. To Peru now, which remains in a state of emergency after two days of heavy flooding. At least four people have been killed, including three passengers in a car caught in a mudslide. The high waters have also displaced more than 11,000 families. Rain has caused flooding in neighboring Bolivia and Chile. Now, in really rather worrying news, a cleaning robot sent into Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant had to be pulled out from its mission due to technical glitches most likely caused by ultra-high radiation levels. The robot entered the reactor on Thursday for the first time since the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami to inspect and clean a passage before further examinations. Despite the absolutely off the charts figures which can kill a person almost instantly. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, 
labor on your part is glorified. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Transgender children will now be admitted into the Boy Scouts of America. The organization announced Monday it made the decision to base enrollment on the gender a child or parent lists on the Scout application. Previously, a policy that went by the gender listed on a child's birth certificate was held. A spokeswoman for the organization said the decision was based on states and communities changing how gender is defined. Earlier in January, another spokesperson said the organization had a non-discrimination policy regarding sexual orientation, but considered gender identity a separate issue. Gender-neutral bathrooms may become more common at schools in your area. 22 News reporter Tashani Whitlow spoke with parents about this controversial new change. Well, Matt, 22 News discovered the Fort River Elementary School in Amherst and the JFK Middle School in Northampton both offered students unisex restrooms. He wasn't sure about using urinals and wondered why there wasn't a door. Well, now there's a door, and that's because the restrooms are gender neutral. A parent of a third grader at the Fort River Elementary School in Amherst told 22 News she's glad that the school has a bathroom to accommodate both sexes. He doesn't want to go into the restroom that's labeled women's with me, but, you know, seven, eight years old, I'm not sure when to send him on his own. So I've always found the segregation of bathrooms really frustrating as a parent of young children. School officials made the change this year. Another school offering its students gender-neutral bathrooms is the JFK Middle School in Northampton. The main office has two unisex restrooms. Principal Leslie Wilson told 22 News more will soon open on the second floor. Last year, Governor Baker signed a new law that allows transgender people to use restrooms and locker rooms that correspond with their gender identities. 
A local gay rights activist is set to shake things up. He says it's time for the LGBT community to replace the traditional pride parade with a march. CBS 2's Tom Waits spoke with the man behind the new movement. What's really exciting um, about this, this moment in time is that the, the diversity of people that are reaching, are reaching out to us. Brian Pendleton is working to advance the gay rights movement in LA and around the country. Pendleton spent years raising over a billion dollars for nonprofits. Now his focus is the LGBTQ community. I'm not going to be the face of this movement. The face of this movement is going to be people of color um, uh, and transgender people, um, lesbians, and people we've never seen before. Pendleton's first move changing LA's gay pride from a parade to a march. The campaign has already attracted more than 20,000 supporters on social media. Pendleton says the changing political environment was his motivation. People who, you know, for the last eight years have finally felt like it was safe to come out of the closet. They're out of the closet and were so determined not to let the rug be pulled out from under them. There are fears in the gay community that President Trump will erode the progress made for gay and transgender rights under President Obama. But Trump surprised some already by keeping in place a non-discrimination order meant to protect gays and transgender folks working in or with the federal government. show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Our hope is that this pig embryo will develop normally, but the pancreas will be made out almost exclusively of, out of human cells, so that then that pancreas could be compatible with the patient for transplantation. Cool. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. participar del deporte somos capaces de ir más allá del propio interés personal y de una manera saludable aprendemos a sacrificarnos a crecer en fidelidad que el Super Bowl de, hoy, de este año sea un símbolo de paz, de amistad.
the Pope of the Holy See. Words never before uttered in history to introduce a figure who came to prod this partisan institution to work together for a better future. We must move forward together as one in a renewed spirit of fraternity and solidarity. As the Palmyra Arch continues to make its way across the world, its next stop is Italy, where it was also constructed. It seems all roads lead to Rome, so we decided to head to the Colosseum to investigate. Wasn't it the Palmyra arch they put up in New York? And London? Nimrod. Rising from destruction. Well, there you go. Nimrod rising from destruction, Palmyra Arch. It's in plain sight really, isn't it? What it's all about, London and New York Arch, Palmyra. I gave a phone call to the Institute for Digital Archaeology and they assured me that this arch is nothing to do with Baal, uh, that they actually changed those plans because of the backlash of the public so instead that they were going to now be building the Ark of Triumph was that which is actually a Roman human achievement and nothing to do with pagan deities or Mesopotamia but listen to this news report this is how Palmyra looked as ISIL took control the triumphal arch before the group destroyed it Today, the 2,000-year-old arch from the Temple of Bell looks like this. The year old arch from the Temple of Bell looks like this. Nimrod. Rising from destruction. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Uh, and if you have not called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today is your day. Romans 10.9 says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. He's the only way. He's the only mediator between God and men, like it says in 1 Timothy 2.5, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So if you have not given your life to him, he's waiting for you with open arms right now. You can make that decision right now. The best decision of your eternity can be made right now. But the choice is yours to spend an eternity in God's kingdom or an eternity separated from God in a place called hell. 
for the wages of sin is death. We're all guilty before God. But Jesus Christ took the sins of the world on himself, and he nailed them to that cross at Calvary. He paid the penalty for our sin. And the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We need to come before him, humble ourselves, and admit that we are guilty before him. Ask him to forgive us of our sins, and he will. The Bible says that if you shall confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Be a new creation in Christ Jesus today. Because except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. <clears throat> be born again spiritually. Being born again of the Spirit of God. A new creation in Christ Jesus. And you can make that decision right now. So make it. Make it. He's waiting for you with open arms. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. Jesus Christ loves you so much. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Eternity awaits you. Paradise awaits you. So don't put it off. Because time is short, and Jesus Christ is coming quickly. God bless you. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built an house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Are you telling me that God has persuaded you that you need to be saved? Yes, sir. You want your sins all forgiven and washed away? Yes, sir. Well, that is something that God tells us he's more anxious to do for you than you for yourself. And here in John chapter 3 is a wonderful statement of that truth. Let me have you look on and uh, let me quote it, you read it, so that as uh, you trust the Savior, you know you're doing it on the basis of God's Word. For God so loved the world that he gave, who? His only begotten Son. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. God the Father gave him upon a bloody cross for Ricardo and for Maria and for myself, for the whole world that whosoever again that's a big word it's a wonderful word what a blessed word big enough wide enough to let anybody pass through it into heaven whosoever that's good enough for you for you for me that whosoever believeth what does it say in him in him not in churches or doctrines or ceremonies or rituals but in the Lord Jesus why in him because he's the one who at the cross died the death that we should have died because the sins were not his they were ours the blood of Jesus Christ God's son Ricardo and Maria cleanses us from all sin Do you believe that yes sir it's because God says it in his word and we can believe it should not, what's the word say there? Should not perish. Perish. That means, perish means to die and go to hell. You should not perish, 
but have, what's the next word? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Life eternal, new life, life forever. He alone can forgive you and save you and change you, Ricardo and Maria, and he will if you're prepared to ask him. Are you really? Yes, sir. You want to repent, change your mind about going on in life without him or thinking that you could save yourself or, or that you're too bad to be saved? You have to repent, change your mind about all those wrong ideas and be willing to trust that what Jesus did when he shed his most precious blood upon the cross for you, that he will save you right now. Are you willing to do it? Yes, sir. Would you pray this prayer with me? Dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, with all my heart, with all my heart, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess I'm a sinner. I need you to save me. I need you to save me. And best I know how, and best I know how, right now, right now, I open my heart and life, I open my heart and life to receive you as my savior to receive you as my Savior. My personal Savior. My personal Savior. Wash my sins away. Wash my sins away. With the blood you shed on the cross. With the blood you shed on the cross. For me. For me. I believe you rose again. I believe you rose again. And I receive you into my heart and life. And I receive you into my heart From and life. This moment on. From this moment on, forever, forever, as my personal Savior, as my personal Savior, and Lord, and Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God's Word is what serves as our basis for knowing that He's heard us. Romans 10 says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Did you just call on him? Yes, sir. Then what did he do according to his promise? He, he saved us. Are you sure? Yes, sir. How do you know? Because the Bible says it. And if you have God's word, the Bible, on it, you don't need anything else. God is true. God help you now to go on with him and learn of him through his word, and he will keep on blessing you. Amen. But God will bring every deed into judgment, Ben Judah, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. I, the Lord, search the heart, I test the mind, and I will give every man according to his ways and according to the things he has done. By the deeds of the law, no flesh shall be justified in his sight. For by grace you are saved, through faith. This is not for yourselves. It is the gift of God. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. He who believes in the Son is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Repent. Jesus is coming. Don't throw your life away. Give it to Jesus while there's still time. Please. And he will hold us accountable. Time is running out. And I don't want you to go to hell. <laughs> You've sinned against God, like I have. He calls us to love and obey him in everything we do, what we do in front of people, what we do in secret, even down to what we think. God loves you. 2,000 years ago, he proved that. God became a man, Jesus Christ, 
and he suffered and died on the cross to save you. He literally died to take your punishment and my punishment upon himself so that we could be forgiven and set free. When Jesus rose from the dead and he ascended to heaven, he defeated death and hell, and he's offering you and I eternal life. God can do anything. And if you are willing, God can save you. Confess your sins and turn away from them and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus, if it's not too late, forgive me for my sins. Jesus is King. Jesus is King. He is Lord forevermore. Jesus. Soon. He is Lord forevermore. He